Hi, it's Lynette here. It feels like I've been age it's been ages since I've filmed anything. So today I, I'm off. Um we've kind of finished decorating the hall in the bedroom, so we're trying to get things back to normal. My office is still in a bit of chaos, but I'm getting that sorted today once I've done this filming. So I've got bags of things piled up to film. So I thought if I film it, I can get my way and make more sense of this place. So today I'm bringing you a team in hall and um we no longer seem to be sending them in the distinctive orange packages that they used to. So, the first item I am going to show you is a dog collar that I got for Lola. Um, and actually, I'm probably going to have to pass this on because these are fine for Lola, but only if they've got the lock because she can pull these apart she's quite a strong dog so if they've got the lock it stops that happening but I didn't realize when I bought this the reason I bought it is because it's got a little light that lights up kind of in the dark and it's got the reflective strip down here but it'll be no good because she'll break it within two minutes of the walk um I should have known that when I ordered it but it was cheap as chips now the one thing I will say when you're ordering anything online is check the sizes now I'm terrible for it I was looking for a mirror for the hall and there was a nice one in next 91 centimetres. I thought, oh, that's nice. Until my husband showed me an amazing tape what 91 centimetres would look like. So that's a lesson for me, is to measure things. So this was described as being large. Um, however, when it arrived, it's quite kind of... Not what I would describe as large, it's quite titchy. However, it might be fine just to shove in the back of the cupboard and put some bits and pieces in. So I'm sure I'll find a I'm sure I'll find a use for it, a home for it. The next couple of items I've bought are these green rolls of tape. Now I'm gonna try and open one to show you. They're for um tying your plants together you know if they if they need to be wrapped around a cane or a pole or whatever and they're kind of velcro so you just cut sh the strips off that you need and they cut round into each other now i usually do it with um kind of green twine that i've got but i thought oh, i'm just going to try this so i got a couple of rolls of that for the plants to try that i've got a big cheese plant that needs a cane um and i've got one outside that's kind of getting a bit too like bushy but one end straggly so I thought I'll tie it together. The next items I got were for the plants again. I'll grab my scissors, that would be helpful. So I picked these up. Now they're for watering your plants so you fill them up and then you pop them in the plant and it slowly releases the water. So there's two of them. They are plastic, which is fine by me. Um, I tend to overwater plants. I'm really bad for it. So these are also good as well if you're going to be on holiday and you're not going to be there to water your plants. You don't need to ask anybody to look after them or you don't need to put them in the bath with water and what have you. So not that I'm going away anywhere, but I thought I'll try these, a couple of those. Um, What is this? I always forget what I've ordered by the way. Oh, this is a little kind of organiser. I've got one for my socks, but I thought this one might be handy um, for inside the door to put like your bras and things in it. You could put boxers, you could put baby's vests, t-shirts, whatever. But it folds up when you're not using it. So I thought that would be good. Um, what else did I get? Oh, right, I picked these up. Now, sometimes I get like a little skin tag here and it irritates me. So you put these um, skin tag cover patches on them. And I think um, it says, don't be embarrassed by skin tags. Um, change one to two times a day. And it says, obviously, if you feel any uncomfortableness, stop using immediately. Do not use on skin injury or swelling. Sensitive skin pat test on the inside of your wrist before using. So if it doesn't cause you any irritation, it'll be fine. So I'm assuming there's 120 here. I'm assuming they will like 
take the skin tag off a little bit like you know corn clusters and things like that um what else have i got here now i've seen these in places like lakeland um and they're not the kind of cheapest of things from there so i thought i'll try some from tina they are silicone um to cover things like um you know pots and lids if you were putting something back in in the fridge if you had leftovers um, the idea is that they stretch and you get them in various different sizes so there's one two three four five here so they come in the kind of variation of sizes and you just cover them so it saves you using kind of cling film or um tin foil and they're reusable and also don't take up a lot of space i buy the random crap don't i oh now i've seen these when i watched um some videos on tiktok of um kind of like japanese houses and stuff it's a little it's a little cloud um but it's a little kind of stanley blade for opening your packaging i like that i thought that was cute and you know that i'll never be able to find it when i need it eh? i'll be like where is it <laughs> so i picked up one of these it's a paw washing cup now this was only a couple of pounds you see them on amazon and ebay um and what you do is you fill this with um kind of soapy water and you put your pups or your dog's paw in it and um it's supposed to clean it lola comes back in some states from washi so i thought i'll give that a bash and because it was really cheap i thought if it's a lot of rubbish it doesn't matter um now I've been seeing I've seen this and I'm I know I'm kind of late to the party with this one, but you know the the um, dressing gown kind of hair curly things where you use your wrap for your dressing gown, but this is a set, um, so it's not your kind of dressing gown that you're using, but it's the same sort of idea and it comes with two hair ties so you kind of pop it around and tie your hair on at the end. So I will do a video. I'll let you know how I get on. Um, but it's essentially the dressing gown kind of wrap idea. Oh, now I saw this and I thought I need to try it. Handbags, like, you know, if you've got space in your cupboard, this is a handbag hook and you just hook it on. I thought that'd be quite good for some of my smaller bags. Although if you've not got a lot of space in your wardrobe, you know, I imagine it will take up a fair bit of space, but the boys have both moved out, so I've got extra cupboard space, so I thought we'd try that. Um, also talking about other things for the wardrobe, I think. I picked up two of these. I'll just take one out of the packaging to show you. Um, so, how does this work then? So the, the little things apart from it, um, I think it hooks in here, you pop that in um, and you do that and you tie your scarf around it. So I thought that was quite good or you could use it for your ties, you know if you've got a lot of ties you could pop your ties through here or belts, um, it would be quite good for that and you know don't take up a lot of space either. I've got two of those because I do have quite a lot of scarves. Um, I bought another one of these, um, the drain uncloggers, because I gave mine to Brandon and Antonia, but it was really good, it was really fun. In fact, the first thing I did was go um, down into the plug hole um, and have a look and see if there was hair there. I do use things that trap them, but the odd hair does still get down and they're bendable, so really good because these kind of brushes catch all the gunk and the crap that might be down your drain so these are really good i've tried the little ones that have got the little the plastic ones that have got the little spines on them and i found it difficult to get it in and out so i tried that and it was great i can confirm that it does work this is definitely a tiktok trend that i had to jump on and try <laughs> it's round ice cubes now um I follow this guy and I can't remember what his name is um, on TikTok and he makes fun of posh people and one of the things he always laughs at is you know they're different you know how they've got like trays of ice cubes and stuff 
but I thought I really do fancy trying the little round ice cubes. Um, so obviously that's a bottom because that's got holes in the top and you, you fill your ice and uh, you fill it with water, pop it in your freezer and you get nice little round. I know, it's just another piece of plastic, isn't it? But I like the idea of being somebody who had round ice cubes. What can I say? Um, obviously picked up another couple of these and oh, so Lola's allergic to every kind of meat, every protein we've tried everything, um, which can rule out a lot of dog toothpaste. Dog toothpaste. Um, we do have the mouth, um, the, the ones that are the little pads that go on your fingers and they're minty. Um, but this, and it comes in a little kind of container, which is good actually to keep it in. It's a little finger brush. You pop it on your finger. Now I tried this with Buster before and he chewed my finger. So you pop this on your finger and it's got the little brushes, but I thought coconut oil would be quite good. Or even if I can get a toothpaste that's just for dogs, but that's kind of minty, I think they sell them online. So get that off my finger. But I like the fact it comes with a little pouch to keep it in, to keep it sanitary. Um, oh, do you know what the, when you're cleaning and you, you're kind of trying to clean your windows or in between like little groovy bits, this is great. Um, I don't know why this bit moves up and down actually. I wonder if it collects kind of, you can collect dust and things in it, I don't know. But I thought that might be good for in between the grooves to get things out. Or if you've got wardrobe doors that are on runners, it gets in and it's quite a stiff brush. Um, <laughs> couple more items here one more of these so I got five of those in total I picked these up because at the moment the one that I've got on their drain covers so at the moment the one that I've got um, in this shower it, it does capture quite a lot but I thought I might try this for in the bathroom because I've got the metal ones um, that sit in the plug hole but I just thought this might actually work a little bit better so I've got two of those to try I think I got one for Brandon and Antonia because I had given them one of my silver ones that I had spare and it just didn't fit so I picked up one for them as well and last but not least if you're anything like me and you have your sanitary products in your bag the first thing that I pull out is always something that I don't want someone to see um they always end up coming flying out so i bought this little pouch um you can use it for lots of things but you can keep um your sanitary products in here and it just means that if you pull this out nobody's none the wiser so that was my timu haul um barring the little kind of organizer thing which i thought would be larger but that's my own fault i'll definitely use everything um and I've just kind of been tidying up my wardrobe, so I'm quite excited to use this for the scarves. I did get one of those hangers that you can put like four pairs of trousers on. And I thought that also might be good for scarves. But I thought I'm going to try this. I'll let you know how I get on with that. So if you've been ordering anything from Timu, let me know. And um, I'll speak to you soon. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to just try and get all my filming out of the way today and move all this clutter. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.